uh, this morning, we, as the fog was lifting over Greenland, we uh, started early to uh, see the village and to spend time uh, learning more about the culture of the community. Uh, this is a fishing community. It is dependent on uh, access to the fishery and uh, they're concerned about the changing uh, climate and, and its impact on the halibut. We also had an opportunity uh, to uh, go to the museum to see some of their heritage. We had a, a wonderful trek across uh, what was once a glacier and uh, saw some uh, ancient uh, ruins, uh, some, um, some sod huts that uh, people lived in for hundreds of years and uh, got a chance to really see up close uh, the, the changes that are occurring in the icebergs and uh, the, uh, the, the process of, of moving ice uh, out into the ocean uh, from this large uh, glacier that is uh, deteriorating at a, a very dramatic rate. We can see that this global warming thing, whether it's the warming of the water or exactly what's happening, it's really moving fast. We had uh, an opportunity to uh, sit uh, rather quietly to listen to the glaciers. Uh, the icebergs, as they moved away from the glacier, uh, make uh, uh, this dramatic noise that they make as they break up. Uh, it's quite uh, dramatic to hear uh, global warming. You know, we talk about seeing the effects of global warming, but we're, we were actually hearing the effects of global warming this, this morning. It's unbelievable. What does it make you feel? It makes me feel so small in this world, and I'm worried about it. One of the things about this uh, part of the world is uh, mosquitoes are ever present. Uh, they're uh, natural. This is a common uh, thing this time of year. But they uh, certainly are looking for a blood feast, and, and they do feed on caribou and other uh, mammals. But if a human is nearby, they'll also work on us, and you'll see that uh, today. And the recent Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports. Now, you probably heard. We also uh, had uh, good discussions uh, from from Jeremy Simons about uh, what's happening on uh, on climate change to set the stage for for Dr. Krell's discussion. This is Larry Schwacker, and I am here with a group of uh, of uh, folks uh, in Greenland, and and I want to thank you for. Uh, for joining us. I, I want to introduce uh, Bob uh, properly to the group. Before I do, maybe I'll have everybody go around the room and introduce uh, themselves to you. Oh, that'd be nice. So, you know, you. so you know who you're talking to. Uh, Robert Correll is uh, a, a good friend of National Wildlife Federations, but more importantly, he was the chairman of the, the Arctic assessment, which involved over 300 scientists, also involved for the first time in a major scientific study like this, the indigenous people. One of the uh, things that Bob Correll said today was, and it shocked me actually, uh, the uh, Jacob Shaven um, Fjord is actually um, moving ice at about two meters uh, per hour uh, off the face of the glacier. So what we're seeing is a very, very rapid uh, breakup of that glacier and Bob was, was uh, surprised about that. Tonight we're going to go out and look at some of the icebergs that are being shed from this fjord and uh, we'll be taking a boat uh, right out uh, to take a look at uh, some of the activity. And because the sun will not uh, technically set tonight, we should have good uh, lighting for our travels. Well, I'll tell you something. It's the most beautiful places on the earth that seem to be really unlocking the secrets to global warming. And this is no exception, and it might be really proving the rule. Because it's a beautiful setting, and yet the storyline here is so dramatic. The thing about nature is that it's, nature uh, is inherently beautiful. Even when nature is going through some difficult times, it, it, it tends to maintain some of that uh, that, that raw beauty that, uh, that we all are attracted to. Uh, we are seeing uh, dramatic change, but that does not, you know, in any way diminish the the beauty of what we are seeing here in terms of nature. Well, I think the most impressive thing I've seen today is what we see out in front of us, and that is to say that these magnificent icebergs that are calving off the glacier that's right around the corner here, and this really brings to light. I mean, it really does point out that this is not a natural situation. It's going much faster than it should go. And I've, uh, I've never experienced anything quite like this. It's fantastic. It's just, uh, without question, this is sort of ground zero. I, I guess this is the poster child for global warming. 
Lots of things happening here and happening very quickly, and uh, it's not good. I hope uh, you uh, tune in uh, tomorrow, and thanks for uh, being a part of this.